In this video, we will build a hybrid which is semantic and also keyword a search engine. Okay. Uh, in the first video of this video series, we built a semantic search engine. Now, uh, this is pretty much uh, similar except a few minor changes. Uh, I'll explain those changes. Uh, so I'm not going to explain uh, the semantic search engine and all the architecture. Uh, I'm going to explain only the changes compared to the semantic search engine. Okay. So um, in all the previous videos, uh, metadata was optional, right? We did not insert any metadata into the vector database. Uh, whereas for the hybrid search engine, in addition to the vector embeddings, uh, we also store the metadata uh, which is uh, the keywords, okay, uh, in the vector database. And also, uh, that's change number one. And number two, uh, in addition to the document, uh, we also provide the keywords uh, we would like to search for, okay. And finally, when we do the search, uh, the search is performed in two steps. The pine cone, First, it search for the keywords uh, uh, we have provided in our search uh, in metadata. After filtering the documents, then it will do the similarity search of the remaining uh, embeddings. Okay, so that way uh, the search is also faster because as we know, uh, keyword search is much faster than a semantic search, right? So uh, a pine cone. Uh, it first filter out all the documents which does not have the required keywords and then uh, it will do the similarity search on the remaining uh, documents. Okay. Uh, 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 just one point. Uh, as we discussed earlier, a semantic search engine is uh, more powerful because uh, it also takes the intent and context into account, uh, which may not be explicitly expressed as keywords in uh, what we are searching for, right? But there might be cases where keywords are important as well. So combining semantic uh, and keyword search engine capabilities uh, uh, becomes very powerful. Uh, so we'll go over it very quickly. Uh, we'll make this uh, video very short. Um, we'll skip all the uh, semantic search engines part or we will go over it very quickly okay so here uh, we have a bunch of documents uh, uh, 10 very simple one sentence documents and then uh, we are taking one of the uh, uh, llm models from uh, these flocks uh, sentence uh, class uh, this model uh, it creates embeddings of size 768 uh, so here we have 10 documents and we already computed uh, the 10 documents embeddings, okay? And then, uh, as I mentioned, keywords, uh, we are going to store the keywords in the form of metadata. So we need to create keywords for each document as well. So here, uh, we are using this auto tokenizer and we are uh, computing the tokens uh, for each of these 10 documents. So if you look at the tokens for the first document, uh, these are the tokens. Okay. And then uh, we instantiate pinecone and we create uh, uh, we create uh, the index uh, so which we are calling here hybrid search. And uh, one new concept uh, in this video is uh, earlier we were using a pine uh, index dot upset method uh, to insert the embeddings into the vector database. Now uh, we are going to do it. Uh, in a completely different way here, we are going to use curl. So what we can do is, we can store the embeddings uh, in the form of a JSON file, okay? So the JSON file format, uh, it looks uh, similar to this. So we have vectors as a list and within each element is a dictionary with the three elements. So one, we need to have an ID and metadata uh, it's optional, it can be empty, and the third element uh, is the actual embeddings or vector. Then we can have a second dictionary uh, uh, with uh, uh, second uh, document information, third dictionary, so and so forth, right? So we need to prepare a JSON file uh, in this format, uh, which is what we are doing here. 
So we have already computed the embeddings here, uh, as you saw, uh, all embeddings. So here what we are doing is, uh, uh, we have created uh, a dictionary and for each document, we have computed or we have created ID, the metadata and uh, its own embeddings, okay? So here we are looping over all the embeddings which we computed earlier. And here we have all the tokens, right? So because we want to have the keywords, uh, which are the tokens, so for the metadata, uh, we have tokens and this will contain all the tokens, right? So uh, we can have multiple uh, multiple keys in the metadata. For example, we can have tokens, maybe we can have uh, the title, uh, so and so forth, right? We can have as many as many elements in this metadata as we would like to have. All right, and then we write the data to uh, the JSON file. Now, in order to insert uh, uh, this data, uh, the JSON data into the vector database, so we can use curl. Uh, the syntax is simply this, uh, uh, post, and this one, you can find it uh, from your uh, Pinecone uh, UI. So if I go here, so this is our hybrid search engine and here you have the URL. You can either copy it from here or if you go down, so here you have upset and show curl command, right? And you can simply copy paste this part and with D here we have uh, the vectors explicitly mentioned uh, but we can uh, load a json file uh, like here we can load a json file uh, like here okay uh, all right so when you copy it also gets cop uh, copy uh, the api key so you don't need to find it uh, uh, again from here all right i just removed my api key uh, but i had my api key when i inserted the documents uh, so it upsetted these 10 documents. All right, uh, so let's start. Query um, sentence and code. Yeah. So first let's do a semantic search engine uh, without uh, using keywords, right? So here we have a sentence. Uh, there is an art uh, to uh, getting your way, throwing bananas onto the street. Some, 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 uh, just said some sentence. And then uh, we are creating uh, embeddings, okay? And then uh, using these embeddings, we are searching for top 10 documents. Uh, if you noticed, we have only 10 documents, right? So what this means is it's going to return all 10 documents. Uh, I will explain you the reason uh, in a minute. Uh, it will become clear to you why we are doing that. Uh, here we are including the metadata true. Uh, that means metadata also gets returned. For example, if you look at this, so here we have the document and the metadata, we have only one element, a uh, tokens, which is a list, right? So this is the, uh, these are the to uh, metadata. And then we have the score, uh, etc. right? So if you look at uh, uh, the indices of this document, uh, which are semantically similar. Uh, so these are the uh, IDs of the documents. So the fifth document is uh, most similar to uh, our uh, query document, okay? Query sentence. Now, uh, let's start uh, doing the uh, filtering. So we now we are going to do both the semantic uh, as well as uh, the hybrid, uh, sorry, uh, the keyword search, right? So all we need to do is just use this uh, additional argument filter and we are saying uh, in the metadata the key tokens should have the word bananas okay so that's what we are doing it uh, it's the standard uh, query which we used before but we have one additional argument which is this filter and uh, as i mentioned we can have uh, multiple keys uh, within the metadata, right? Here we have only one key. So we are saying the tokens key should have uh, bananas uh, as a keyword, okay? So that's what we are doing. And then this time, as you can see, even though we are asking for a top 10 most similar documents, it has written only four documents, 
okay so if you look at those four documents uh, these are those four documents uh, with the corresponding ids 5217 so as you can see here each document has a banana okay here we have each document as a banana so this way we can search documents which are both semantically similar to our query document and also has the keywords okay uh, and then uh, the keywords uh, it also allows us the logical operators like and or uh, multiple keywords uh, etc so we'll see a couple of uh, examples so that uh, we know uh, how to do the keyword search in various scenarios okay uh, now let's say uh, the r operator the logical r operator uh, this is how we uh, will use it so again we are saying uh, 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 within this token it can either have bananas or way right so this is the r operator it's a dollar r operator okay so this time it has returned an additional document so earlier when we were searching with banana we had only four documents but this time we have an additional document which is document number 8 uh, this does not have banana but this has the word way okay so that's how we can use the r operator and then uh, let's have a look at uh, now it may not always be convenient uh, to have a dictionary like this right for example we might be searching for uh, one of the many keywords so this uh, list uh, will become uh, quite longer right so we have another convenient way of doing it uh, when we have multiple keywords uh, which is this dollar in so basically we are saying uh, our documents should have at least one of these keywords okay either bananas or way or it can contain both as well right so we'll get the same result okay we got the same five documents now coming to the logical and so if we want to have our document both the keywords uh, uh this is how we use uh, dollar and okay so it has written two documents and if you look at two documents so it has bananas and it has way and the second document also it has way and bananas okay so that's how we use the logical and uh, with the dictionary now again uh, probably just uh, adding uh, too many Uh, keywords here uh, becomes a little inconvenient so what we can do is we can create a dictionary and simply pass the dictionary as a variable okay so here we are searching for let's say three keywords so uh, our uh, result document should have all three documents so first it should have all three uh, keywords and then it should be semantically similar to our search query okay so even though we are asking for 10 uh in this uh, uh 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 repository uh only one document uh, satisfying all these three keywords right and it is also semantically similar so we got uh, only that one answer right so this document it should have all uh three keywords it way uh, bananas as well as green okay and then uh we can have uh, this uh logical not operator as well so for example here uh, what we are doing is uh, we are combining and and this negate or not operator right so what we are saying is uh, the result document it should not contain bananas but it should contain only way okay so this ne that represents not equal okay so this will return only document number 8 which has way but not bananas okay and finally we have one more operator uh, which is this not in okay so if we want to have multiple keywords which should not be in the result documents uh, this is how we do so we simply say dollar uh, not in and then provide a list of uh, the keywords uh, which should not be in the uh, documents okay so as you can see this time we got completely different uh, documents and none of these five documents uh, don't have the keywords either banana or way okay so that's how we can use the logical or and not and not in operators uh, it's very similar it's exactly similar to semantic search uh, again going back to the uh, uh, solution design uh, in addition to the embeddings uh, we also insert metadata into the vector database 
and then when we query uh, in addition to the document uh, we also provide uh, the keywords now the search uh, is a two part this hybrid search first it does the keyword search so it will find filter out all the documents which do not have the keywords and then from the remaining documents uh, embeddings it will do a semantic search okay so that's how we can uh, perform uh, a hybrid search which combined uh, the uh, functionality of semantic uh, as well as keyword search to make it even more powerful uh, that's all for this video thank you very much